Hey, hey, welcome. Sorry, I'm just like letting people in and there's some people I don't recognize, some phone numbers and some names. So does anyone know Xenia Biggs? What did you ask, Sarah? I was just asking Xenia Biggs, X-E-N-I-A. Yes, uh-huh. Okay. Please, on Lori's LRBs. Okay. I just, um, I know some people send um, personal links. Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome, thank you. You're welcome. Come on in, come on in. And if there's anyone that's trying to get in that they can't, just um, let me know. There's some phone numbers that I don't recognize. Um, Hi, good night. Hello, 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 Xenia. Is that how I say it, Xenia? Yes, Xenia, yes. Okay, Xenia, beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Come on in. So take some time before we get started. Grab a notebook. Um, grab your oils, your favorite oil to apply. And a drink. Hey, Lori. Let me get. Hello. Hello. Oh, I love Monday nights. They're so fun. I don't know. Do you guys like Monday nights? <laughs> I'm just going to take some time to let everyone in. So as I'm doing that, grab a notebook, grab something to drink. I have my Ningxia Red and some minerals. We're going to talk about Ningxia and minerals tonight. And I have lots of oils I'm going to apply too. So um, grab all your Monday night things. What oils are you applying tonight? What are you feeling tonight? I have a bunch here. They all have a very similar smelling properties. I have inner child, higher unity, and one heart. Kind of florally, I don't know. What are you guys feeling tonight? I love how our body tells us what oils it's craving. Like, do you ever find that? That it's just, it goes in like these, um, these swings of like where we're craving florally or we're craving like a, like a deep, like brain power, Denise, that's a like deep smelling oil because of all the high sesquiterpene, like the Royal Hawaiian sandalwood. I think there's vetiver in there. But yeah, sometimes our body just tells us what we need. And so listen to it. We're going to be listening to our bodies. We're going to be learning to listen to our bodies tonight. So I'm super excited to jump in. So just another minute um, or two while everyone is popping in here. It's going to be a full class tonight. Super excited to share some weight loss tips with you tonight. So if you not, are not on mute yet, if you could please just mute yourself um, so that way um, we can all hear the conversation tonight and um, there's no background noise because Zoom can kind of be funky like that. So you're putting peace and calming on. Oh, I've been craving that. I have actually been using that every day. Sometimes I use that and sometimes it's a little overpowering for me, but I've been putting it in the diffuser. I've been applying it to my wrist. I don't know. I think it's the patchouli in that that's really like, yeah, bringing me back to it. So yeah, yang, ylang, ylang. Oh, that's so good. And lemon and citrus. Yes, in your lean tea. Ooh, lean tea. I would love to know about that lean tea. Share that, Karen, what you put in your lean tea. Okay, so Sarah Paul is in here and she is going to be allowing everyone to join. Hey, hey, Sarah, welcome. So thank you for- Yeah, no problem, I'm here, so. If anyone's having issues, you can just message me and let me know. I know that we have um, just a phone number who's looking to get in. We like that everyone always identifies themselves. Just so if you have a friend who's trying to get in, tell them to 
let us know their name. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Thank you. I'm sorry, my lighting in this room, and there's just no way around it. It's just like, I feel like I have Star Wars lights, like beam me up Scotty lights in my, <laughs> in my office. They're just, I don't know, those inset recessed lights that just are super glowy. So sorry about that, but we're just going to work through it. So welcome, welcome everyone. My name is Sarah Stutzman and I am a platinum brand partner with Young Living. We are learning the new lingo and trying to make it conscious, conscious language as we are moving forward into some exciting things with Young Living and um, the new website that is coming. I just got access to it today and it is so, so gorgeous. And trust me, it's, it's gonna be easier to navigate than um, what we have. It's going to be easier to navigate than what, you know, we've all been like sharing, like, ooh, what is this? It really, it really is, it's beautiful. So um, all the new things rolling out, super excited to share that with you at the end of the month. Um, but yeah, together, Sarah, Paul, and I, we share on a Monday night. We come in here and we um, just bring you guys education on what you are needing in life. And so at the end of our call tonight, I will put up a survey that if you fill that out, um, I have something fun to offer you at the end tonight. And that's for you to really just tell us what are you needing in life? What kind of education do you need in your wellness journey? Okay. And our wellness journey can be anything. It is, you know, our emotional, our spirit, spiritual, our physical, um, it's our, our fitness as well. And so anything that you're needing in wellness, um, please make sure that you let us know that. So Monday night, we pop on here, we educate you. If you um, have something that you're super passionate about that you love in the wellness field, please let us know if you wanna partner with us one of these Monday nights. We just, you know, we're here, we love what we do. And so um, if there's anyone out there that you love to talk about wellness and you have something that you're passionate about, we would love to partner with you. So uh, reach out to one of us and we would love to have you on one of our Monday night calls. So tonight we we're talking all about weight loss, naturally okay and I'm gonna pop my um powerpoint up here because I'm visual and I and I also need some notes and you can screenshot you can take notes as we go along but it's really not going to be brain science <laughs> rocket science these are going to be things that you can take with you can everyone see this okay that you can take with you and apply tonight, tomorrow, right away. So um, let me see how I can do this. <laughs> okay, oops. Well, I'm not gonna go back because it's gonna mess me up. Okay, so these are things that, these are tangible things that you can start with. So, um, let me know your experience with, and, and maybe Sarah, you can read these as we go along, um, but what is your experience with your body image, programming of what you were made to feel and believe about your body as you were growing up, as you were going through life, Share your experiences. For example, um, at a young age, I knew that I was bigger than all my other friends, right? I had growing up, you know, at the age of five, six, like my family members made me know that I was a little chunky, right? <laughs> and they made fun of that in a cute way, but that sticks with you. And we're all women in here, right? Um, and that sticks with you. Those words stick. And now as a mom raising three girls, I want to make sure that my language is positive um, and that what I'm doing in my life is portraying a healthy body image. And like today, I heard one of my girls say the word fat um, to my youngest. And I was like, hold up, what? <laughs> like, Let's talk about that um, because that's not 
I, I don't want my girls growing up with a body image like I grew up with. And so I, I would love for you to share your just your experiences, because that started me on that path of being really conscious of my body and um, and not making really good choices for my health or, um, you know, exercising too much, putting too much emphasis on what I looked like, right? How many of you agree, like you do that daily, looking in the mirror um, and, and, and making judgments on yourself, right? Anyone out there, Sarah, did anyone share anything? Yeah, I mean, I think as, as women, and like you said, having sisters and comparing just naturally body types, right? And then also looking at our moms and hearing their language, it is so powerful, so, so powerful. Um, we have someone who said that they struggled with weight their whole life and never really had the best body image and hands up for yes, they can totally, totally, you know, um, yeah, know exactly agree. what you're talking about. Totally yeah. agree. Yeah. 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 And, always, and so loved, always loved sports running and being fit, but liked looking healthy, um, um, you know, all their life been bigger, um, weight's been a struggle, um, nicknames from siblings um someone's brother used to call her chippy because she had what he thought were fat cheeks so yeah those those names right those yeah. terms of quote unquote endearment that really stick with us and make a really negative impression struggling with pcos and weight loss um and fertility as well um on the flip side being called string bean right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember yeah. Um, when I was younger, I developed breasts when I was like 14 and it was basically like a summer where I had no breasts. And then I woke up with really large breasts, like full, you know, D size breasts and was in the seventh grade. And I remember, you know, always having comments made about that as well. And obviously like I gained weight during that time period too, but yeah so crazy and still having, you know, self-conscious beliefs just because of when you <laughs> developed. Yeah. And, and, you know, and I remember, yeah, saying things to my, my good friends too. Like we would have nicknames for each other. And um, yeah, I think it, <laughs> brick shithouse was one name that, I, and it sticks with me. I'm like, well, I look a brick shithouse, but like slapped yeah. together, put together, thick, solid, um, you know, and those things stick. And now it's like, yeah, I, you know, we have to embrace, embrace it and not take it on as a negative. Like, yeah, I am slapped together, you know? And I mean, so, so I think even as like a culture, we've been programmed to, as women, we have to look a certain way, right? Commercials, um, fitness ads, magazines. So, Whew, that is a lot to get through as a woman, as a woman. And so our situation, right? We ultimately, we, you want to feel, you want to be healthy. You want to feel comfortable in your skin, right? How many of you just want to, you want to feel healthy and be comfortable in your skin, right? Not skinny, you know, not, you don't want to look a certain way. You just want to feel a certain way. Cause you know, when you put your pants on and they're a little too snug, right? You, you know, when you're not feeling comfortable, okay? But you get overwhelmed at where you, at where it is to start and, and how to stay consistent, right? Because we, we pump ourselves up and we're like, yep, we're going to do this. Tomorrow's my day. And then, you know, we eat a bowl of ice cream or we, you know, down a bag of chips or, and then it's like, well, tomorrow, I'll start tomorrow. And then we make another little, you know, up, you know, I had a soda or had a glass of wine or, you know, we just, every day is our starting point, right? And that's great. We can always continue to start and make good choices, okay? Just because we, you know, messed up, right? It's okay. We, you, you specifically deserve to feel confident in your miraculously made body. We have to look at our bodies as miraculously made. Think about all the amazing things that your body has done for you, okay? 
you can comment how many amazing things has your body done for you. You can even write it, journal it. And if this is something that you do struggle with every day, gratitude journal, what your body has done for you. Like what can you do because you have a strong, miraculously made body. Think about that and write that every day. So you can make positive choices every day for your health. Let's start now. And it is not, it's not complicated. Okay. We're not going to be cutting calories. We're not going to be restricting. We're not going to be do crazy intensive workouts, right? We're going to be doing something super simple. Ready? I'm going to move my screen down so I can read. And it's these three things. It is not about weight loss. Ladies, get that out of your mind. It is, this is not about weight loss. Weight loss is always the side benefit because I want you to think about what your primary food is right now. What are your basic needs? A lot of times when your basic needs are not being met, that is why your body is holding on to weight or you're having, you know, maybe making um, not so good choices for your health. What are your basic needs? And that is to be loved, to feel loved, to be nourished from relationships, um, you know, to have adequate water, to have a clutter-free home. What are those things that bog you down, okay? Those are called your primary foods. There's usually 12 of them, okay? Create, I can't even list all 12 of them right now. I should have written them down, but your creativity, your, your creative outlets, um, your home life, okay? How balanced is your home life? Um, your nutrition, as far as like home-cooked meals, relationships, relationships with uh, a spouse, with family members, with children, um, and even in your, like your, your home area, I should say, like, what is your home area like? Do you like a, a well-kept home? Does clutter make your mind cluttered? And then, you know, if it's, if, if you have a messy home and you don't have the motivation to do it, then do you go to food as your outlet, as your comfort? So when your basic needs are not being met, then your outlet is to go to Maybe it's comfort eating, okay? A lot of us do that. Just that comfort of making, you know, cooking food or eating things that aren't as healthy for us as we would, you know, normally choose. So it's not about weight loss. It's about looking to the root cause of what is driving you to make unhealthy choices. Uh, driving you not to, you know, go out and take a walk or to go to the gym, um, or, you know, grabbing a bag of Doritos instead of some carrots. Like what are, what are your, what's the root cause of it? Okay, so think about those basic needs. <clears throat> a lot of times it's too much or too little of something. Okay, or an emotional attachment. And so I have these three words here, minimize, maximize, and prioritize. So we need to minimize things that aren't good for us. In our life, we need to maximize on things that are better choices. And I'll give you examples as we go along. And then we need to prioritize time for rest and healing and space in our life to put ourselves first. And I know that sounds selfish and we're told not to be selfish, but you need to put yourself first so that way you can care for others in your life. It is okay to put yourself first um, when you're talking about your health, right? Because if you're not healthy and you and and you can't take care of others, then you know you put them first, right? And and then who's going to be there to take care of them if you're not healthy? So everyone's journey is a little bit different, and so I want you to be making notes for yourself tonight and think about those connections points, those connection points. So five things we're going to talk about tonight. Number one is hydration. If you're not fully hydrated, okay, your body can't function properly. 
your, your red blood cells, they clump up, they can't get oxygen to where they need to be. You can't get nutrients to where it needs to be. And so it sounds really simple, but hydration, making sure you're bringing in enough water, water to your body. So here, when we talk about minimize, maximize, and prioritize, minimize sugary drinks or stimulants like coffee um, or uh, caffeinated drinks or um, those things that bring you down like alcohol. So minimizing those and then maximizing on water intake. And so your water intake might be, if you're trying to kick soda, it might be seltzer and ningxia or um, ningxia nitro and seltzer or ningxia zing. So there's a lot of great alternatives that Young Living has if you're trying to minimize those, um, those sugary drinks or the stimulants or the de depressants. So um, maximize with something good. Be filling up. Because a lot of times when you're dehydrated, you're going to crave food. You're going to crave sugary things. You're going to um, crave you know, anything that is going to try to bring in nutrients. Prioritize by having a large water container filled with water and Young Living Vitality Drops. That's another great way to flavor your water so that way it's not like so bland. What is your favorite? If you love the Vitality Drops, what is your favorite? My girls love the bergamot grapefruit. I think that's what it is. Um, so they're incredible and it's just a little squirt in there and they sweeten it up a little bit um, and, and add some flavor and electrolytes. What is everyone's favorite, Sarah? Um, well, the berry one is listed, the bergamot grapefruit one, that's my personal favorite too. Um, the lavender lemon one is a sec like a really close second. Um, the energy drops with the caffeine are both really delicious and another vote for the lemon ones too. Yeah. Awesome. So number one, making sure you're drinking enough water because when you're not hydrated, you're going to crave other things. So fill up on water. There we go. Okay. Number two, move. And I'm not going to say exercise here because that's a scary word, but move your body. Our bodies are meant to be moving. And I know coming out of 2020, a lot of us sat in meetings on Zoom, right? Um, our, we're, we're teaching our kids, we're doing things more behind the computer and sitting. And so our sedentary lifestyles may not have served us very well in 2020 and even in 2021. And so make it a priority to do something that's going to move your body in a way that you enjoy. So maybe it is going and doing some hardcore cardio, riding bike, running, um, taking a fitness class, or maybe it is power lifting. Maybe that's what drives you, or maybe it's yoga um, or walking or walking with a friend. So then you're getting the relationship aspect and you're also getting the movement aspect. Okay. And so your movement doesn't have to be, you know, an hour long class. It can actually be spurts of 10 minutes. Maybe you take a 10 minute walk. Maybe you do a couple jumping jacks um, in between your meetings or jump rope. But when you're doing little movements all day long, you are keeping your metabolism going. You're burning energy. Um, and so minimize your sitting. This one's really easy. Minimize sitting, okay? Um, maximize movement. If you have a way to track it, you can do that, but um, just prioritize it by scheduling it in your day. Okay? For me, if I don't do it first thing in the morning, I make excuses at the end of the day, like, oh, I have to spend time with my family. They need me. I feel guilty for leaving. It's really nice to have dinner together. Like I make those excuses. So if I don't do it at the beginning of the day, it doesn't get done. So I know me. You have to know you. So Ningxia Nitro really helps with energy and motivation. Um, on a hot summer day when it's super hot and I'm feeling a little lethargic and I don't want to get outside and, and walk because it's too hot and I'm just tired, then I will take a Ningxia Nitro. I drink it like 10 minutes prior to any kind of activity that I'm going to do. It gives me that natural caffeine. 
So that's something, another little tool that you can use to help you get out there and move, right? Or if you are social, make a date with some friends, you know, put it on the calendar and have a time to, you know, work out with them or, or move with them. So I, um, I take a class at the gym and I was really close to canceling it and saying, I'm going to save money. I'm going to, I have all the equipment down in the barn and I'll just work out in the morning. My husband knows me and he said, no, babe, if you do that, you have to have a membership and have friends over <laughs> and work out together and make it, you know, put it on the calendar because he knows that I like the social interaction of working out with friends and, and the community and the conversation that we have, it just makes the time go by a lot quicker. So um, know you. Number three, real food. I know this can be really scary for some people. And this is where um, I definitely take time with my, my health coaching clients and work through substituting packaged food for real food, even if it's healthy packaged food or if it says organic on it. Um, a lot of times there are additives that trick our brain. They trick our, our leptin receptor to make us think that we're not full and then we keep eating and eating. Yes, even on those organic on those organic packages, there are actual food scientists this blew my mind when I found this out and maybe you already know this and you're like, yeah, that's old news, Sarah. But <laughs> like a couple of years ago, I was like, food scientists, what? Like they actually make up food, um, like flavorings that get you to come back. So there is a combination of sweet, salty, oh. Thank you. If you could just mute that. They're sweet, salty, like crunchy that um, get you to come back and keep eating when you're not even hungry. Okay. Did you ever like get to an end of a bag of a chips and a bag of chips and you're like, how did I eat this whole bag of chips? Right. It's because of that. Um, yeah. Just that science behind the flavorings right, that they put on things. So minimize takeout and prepackaged meals. And for you, that might look like if you do take out and prepackaged meals every night, it might look like starting with one night a week. Do you fresh food, okay? Fresh produce, uh, a home-cooked meal. Maybe it's two nights a week. So it's working up to it. Um, so, and maximizing on fresh ingredients. And that's that's gonna be really, really easy soon because all the fresh produce is coming into abundance. So go to your local farmer's market and it doesn't take a lot to just grill some asparagus or drizzle some olive oil and put it in your oven and roast it for like five minutes. Um, it, home cooked meals do not have to be fancy, but fresh ingredients are actually, your body's gonna know when it's nourished and full and you're not gonna go back for seconds and thirds. Because that's a big thing right here is, you know, you may be eating, um, you know, at home, you may be eating well, but serving size is a really big thing. And, um, and I can send you a graphic that'll help you, you know, because I don't weigh food. I don't weigh food. I don't count calories. I think that's overwhelming and that's stressful, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. But just knowing what serving size looks like can be helpful. So that way you know that you've had just enough to nourish your body, right? If you are an on-the-go person, Young Living has um, healthy alternatives. They have healthy alternatives to like your prepackaged granola bars. They have uh, protein bites. They have amazing protein shakes and um, a balanced, complete meal replacements. Um, that have really good ingredients in that you know you're not going to mess with your metabolism that isn't you know those ingredients aren't going to mess with your brain signals and so you can trust those alternatives we love the granola we love their um, granola bars as well and I love their protein powder their chocolate and Sarah you have a testimony on that you want to share that 
absolutely on the granola, <laughs> the, granola. the protein the protein powder <laughs> oh yeah oh my gosh no and we love we love the protein powder um i use a lot of those meal replacements personally um especially the chocolate protein powder i use that one often um and what i do for a really quick breakfast i'll take a scoop of that i'll add that in with some um oats and then i'll just like fill it up with berries, fresh berries. And it's such a great breakfast. It has me feeling like completely full until lunchtime. Um, and I absolutely love it. I really do. And everyone in my house loves it. I mean, my son asks for little protein shakes. Um, he prefers the balance complete. And my husband prefers the balance complete as well. But you can do so much with them too. You can even put the oils right into them. Um, which I really love. You can add a little bit of peppermint in with the chocolate. And you can also add a little bit of orange or lemon in with the vanilla one. And those oils are going to help with your digestion. They're going to help with those cleansing benefits. And then it's really easy to kind of flavor those shakes too. So we love those. I have a shake a day as um, my grab and go meal when I'm like on the run. So I definitely love those. Um, and the granola in our house, I mean, we buy six bags a month and we go through it like so easily because again, it's a really great, you know, little snack, a healthy snack. Um, and everyone loves it. I love it. My husband loves it. Um, our son loves it too. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, and if you are, one thing with the protein powder, because a lot of times we're def, uh, deficient in protein, we need more protein to keep our metabolism running strong and um, to have that, that good energy to fuel us. And so in the summertime, we'll probably start soon, but get yourself um, a bag of organic berries, have that in the freezer, some cans of coconut milk and the chocolate protein powder. And you can make a really amazing ice cream with it. We will um, put this in like a blender or our Vitamix. I don't even measure. I just dump a bunch of um, frozen berries in. Coconut milk and like two scoops of protein powder. And I blend that until it's just like thick. So this is where I don't measure. I just kind of go with the flow. And if I need more coconut milk, I can, but like canned full fat coconut milk. Um, and it makes the most amazing ice cream. So you're not gonna be depriving yourself when you're eating real food. Um, you, you can make amazing recipes with that taste like, you know, eating ice cream. Um, but I love to have, when we're talking about real food, this is where it really, really, really is important um, to have things that are prepared ahead of time. Like Sarah says, she grabs the protein um, powder. She has the shakes. She makes the, the oatmeal ready to go that, she, that can nourish her in the morning. Because when we're busy, we don't have time to be making breakfast, right? So having things ahead of time. So hard boiled eggs, we have those ahead of time. Um, for breakfast or snacks. I'll have roasted vegetables on hand or um, you know, boxes of salad greens ready to go. Um, you can even pre-cook like meat, like burger. That way you can add any kind of seasoning you want to it. You can make it taco meat, you can make, you know, put it in some spaghetti sauce. Um, but having meat cooked up ahead of time so that way when you are in a hurry, you can throw things together. Um, having lots of, you know, fresh fruit available, um, vegetables that are cut up, ready to go, whether you want to snack on them or you want to put them in a, a, a saute and, or like a, um, a skillet and you want to make, you know, fresh vegetable, you know, roasted vegetables. Um, I, a friend of mine, this is amazing. I love that she does this. She's a mom of young kids. And she said every morning, and this is something I want to start doing with my girls, but every morning they make a veggie tray and they have hummus out and they cut up all their veggies for the day. And so that's what they snack on all day because I know my kids are always hungry and I'm always picking when you're home, you're picking. And so she just has that out on the counter and they just kind of dip and go and anything that's left over at the end of the night just goes into a stir fry or a salad. And so it's already done. The kids are helping um, and they have a hand in it. 
So when we're talking about weight loss, having the real food is a big component of that. But luckily, you know, we have these tools like our protein shake, the bars, um, and those things that we can put in our purse and our diaper bag and, and use when we need to on the go. Sorry. <laughs> okay. 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 Okay you know, stuck on these, these extreme diets, like the keto, the paleo, um, because essentially, yeah, there are some pros to those, but essentially you're depriving yourself of things that your body does need. You need carbs. You need good carbs, okay? Whole grain breads and, you know, oats and, um, you know, squash, yams. You need real carbs, real food, not things that come in a package. So that's a really good question there, Sarah. Any other questions on that before we move on? Okay. Nope, I think we are, we are all good. Okay. I'm telling you guys, these, these things are like, wow, really, really simple. But these are the basics. Because like I said, if you are holding on to weight, if you are if you're doing, you know, if you're eating healthy, you're exercising, but some of these other items are not in check, your body is going to hold on to extra weight because stress is huge, okay? We have the fight flight response in our body, okay? When our body is under so much stress, it essentially thinks that it's running from a tiger or a bear, okay? And your body goes into storage mode. Or if you're restricting your calories so much, it's actually going into storage mode. You're gonna be storing any kind of um, energy, any kind of calories that you're bringing in, you're storing it, you're storing it as fat because your body thinks it's under attack and it's going to store it for when it's, you know, calmer and when you can actually use that, you know, um, those calories, but we want to minimize activities that bring us stress. So when, um, you know, your, I'm just going to bring this up, your youth pastor at church says, hey, can you run the kids program for, you know, the next six months? And in your mind, you're going, oh man, I don't know about that. That's, I don't know if I can fit that in my schedule, but you say yes anyway, because you don't want to disappoint her that is stress. Okay. So you have to know your best yes in life. When, when, um, when you're saying yes to things, when you're saying no to things, minimize activities that bring you stress, maximize activities that bring you joy, do more of what brings you joy. And I feel like I say that a lot. And I say that to myself too. Um, if it doesn't bring you joy, it's going to bring you stress, right? It's going to, it's going to make you feel um, depressed. It's going to make you feel anxious. And those emotions have a huge impact on our health and ultimately our weight. Um, prioritize by leaving white space in your calendar. How many of you fill up your calendar so full that when the day comes and you look at your day and you're like, it ultimately, as soon as you wake up and you look at your calendar, you are stressed just looking ahead at your day leave white space, leave space for you to breathe, to go take a walk, to, you know, cook a really good meal with your family. Um, prioritize. Use oils such as Stress Away, Peace and Calming, Valor, and I didn't even put it on here, but Clarity. Clarity, when you're making a choice, like if you, if your youth pastor says, hey, can you run the children's program for the next six months or the whole year? And you have to make that choice Use an oil like clarity, pray, um, take time to think before you answer someone, okay? Any questions on that? 
because stress brings a lot of, it wreaks a lot of havoc on all parts of our body, our hormones, it increases inflammation. And when an inflammation is increased, dis-ease, disease can set in, right? Dis-ease, imbalance, um, and our body can become, um, you know, out of, out of homeostasis. Any questions on that, Sarah? Nope, I don't see any questions coming up right now. Okay. All right, sleep. Number five, sleep and prioritizing sleep. We call this sleep hygiene. And I'm going to reverse just a little bit uh, when we talk about eating too. Um, Eating hygiene is another really big thing. You might be eating really good food, but when you're sitting down to eat lunch or dinner, are you shoving it in and eating it so fast so you can get on to the next thing? Um, are you looking at your screen when you're eating? Eating hygiene is something that we do when we sit down and we, uh, we think about what we're eating. We smell it, we taste it. We are in conversation with uh, folks, you know, our family, our husbands, our, our wives, our spouses, our, uh, our children, our friends, and um, we're thinking about what we're eating and we're chewing our food. So that way enzymes can be released and our body is, it knows what is coming and it can release enzymes to digest our food, um, hydrochloric acid to start digesting. So eating hygiene is really important. And then sleep hygiene. So again, um, when you go to sleep at night, do you go to sleep and scroll on your phone like most average American human beings, right? Or any human being, right, in this world? Um, or are you looking at, you know, any kind of screen? Are you watching television? And then, you know, one show after the next. And you look at your clock and you're like, oh, my word, it's later than I want it to, but I need to go to bed. And then your mind starts racing and you can't fall asleep. Um, our natural internal clock, we should be in bed by no later than 10 o'clock because here's why. Um, when, you, when, when you get another surge of um, adrenaline, it takes about four hours for that adrenaline to uh, metabolize on the receptor sites because adrenaline and um, melatonin or I should say cortisol. Cortisol and melatonin share the same receptor site. So in order for melatonin to come take residence on that receptor site, cortisol has to be, um, you know, not there. It has to be metabolized. So we don't want, you know, you ever hear of getting your second wind, right? Um, so if you're like, you're super tired, but then it's like 10 o'clock rolls around and and all of a sudden you get a second win, right? You got that cortisol and, or, and the adrenaline rush. And then it's like, you can't fall asleep. And so you're up for another four hours. And then by the time you do fall asleep, you're super tired. And then you have to get up at five o'clock in the morning. So setting a really good rhythm for sleep. Sleep is when our body rests and repairs. We need ample sleep to have a healthy metabolism and to have a healthy weight, okay? So minimizing screen time, maximizing books or journaling. So prioritize this by setting a time that you put your phone down or turn off television and you have to know that time. Is it eight o'clock? Is it nine o'clock? Um, and then picking up a book instead and laying in bed, your phone is maybe downstairs or out in the kitchen, but it is not near you. And your television is off. If you can get it out of your bedroom, okay? Um, but using oils such as lavender, cedar wood to set that really good nighttime routine, you put your phone down, you put your oils on. Um, if you do a nighttime routine, let us know what oil you use. What do you love? I love to use lavender right before bed. I have a roller and I put it right, you know, on my forehead, on my temples. And that's all I do. Um, sometimes I do grab cedar wood. It depends what my body is telling me. 
Uh, Rudavala is really good as well. That'll help you fall into a really deep sleep, but getting into that rhythm and that routine to set a really good sleep pattern so that your body can rest and repair and, um, and, and metabolize you know, all that you've been through all day, okay? So these are five really natural principles that when you're gonna apply those in your life, you will see that you're getting to the root of um, healthy habits that you'll see then naturally you will shed the weight that you don't want there, okay? Because the weight gain is not the issue. The issue is what's happening in your life that is driving you to make unhealthy choices in your sleep, in your um, emotional state in life, in your eating habits, um, in, in drinking, you know, hydrating yourself. And so go back to your primary food. What are your basic needs? Okay, look at the root of what's driving you to make unhealthy choices. Um, so real quick, there's some other tools that you can have in your back pocket. And I am missing, I, I missed one really important one too, um, which I'm gonna start with, enzymes. Enzymes are really, really important to help you break down and digest food. Because you, know, you may have heard the, the statement that you are what you eat but that's not true. You are what you digest and absorb. So you may be eating really healthy food, but you're not noticing that it's, you know, adding benefit to your health and well-being because you may not be digesting it. You may not be absorbing it. And so your body's not being able to utilize the nutrients of the fruits and vegetables of the meat products that you're eating if you don't have the proper enzymes to digest them. And Young Living has Essential Zyme and they have another one called Essential Zyme 4. I believe that one um, is not in stock right now. It's being reformulated. I love that one because you can take it right with your food. Essential Zyme, um, I use that one instead and you just take it like 30 minutes before you eat. Sometimes I forget and I'll just take it with my food but um, it helps you, your body break down and utilize the nutrients in your food. Um, so essential zyme. Ningxia Red, I have heard amazing testimonies. And if you have a testimony of um, you know, drinking Ningxia Red and losing weight, I would love to hear it in the comments. Um, typically we drink two ounces a day. That's all you need for the benefits, the antioxidants, the vitamins, um, and the added health benefits. It re reduces brain fog, um, it helps with energy, it helps with mood, it helps with immunity. But if you increase it and you drink two ounces through um, like three times a day, you will notice uh, sugar cravings like gone. You will notice like level blood sugars. And I love to add this to some seltzer water with lime. So good, it's like my afternoon pick me up. I drink it in the morning before I go to the gym or actually drink it at the gym with some minerals in it. I love mineral essence from Young Living. Minerals are really important, again, for um, conversions and hormone conversions in your body, which again, adds to your health. So Ningxia Red, Any, anyone with a um, testimony, Sarah, of Ningxia Red? Um, yeah, Denise just mentioned that she just did the five-day cleanse. She lost eight pounds. And that has to do with Ningxia, with the enzymes, with the essential zyme that you discussed, and also with um, the Balance Complete. And that is amazing. So she did that. Um, and I know I have another friend who lost about 15 pounds in one month just by changing drinking Ningxia three times a day. Uh, I think it was 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and 2 o'clock. Um, that those times seem to be great, you know, all during the day. And I have, there's another testimony here. Um, when she was drinking six ounces of Ningxia a day, she was losing three to four pounds a week. That's incredible. Yeah. yeah. And That's I feel incredible. like it's just because it makes you feel so nourished too, you know, mm -hmm. like all those nutrients and everything. And, and also with those cravings, it's amazing. 
It is. And a lot of times I'll, I'll leave for the gym in the morning and I, you know, I'll eat a hard boiled egg, but I'm still kind of hungry. And I'm like, I'll be okay. I push through and I drink my Ningxia while I'm working out and I feel so good. It's not just like drinking water. Um, plus I add those minerals to it and it is so nourishing. Like, yes. I love the way it makes me feel. And my girls love to drink it as well. So it helps, again, um, curb those cravings and level out blood sugars so you're not getting that insulin spike from, you know, eating crazy food, right? Or, or sodas and stuff. Um, there is a whole sleek line that Young Living has that if, you know, I'm not one for, you know, doing a whole like, you know, bars and pills and all that stuff. But um, Young Living's sleek line is top of the line, no like junk. You're not going to like have this crash and then gain it all back. You know, if you know, use this, it's a really great tool to have in your pocket. If you just need, you know, either the whole line or you want a few things. Like I love their sleek oil and I'll add that to my Ningxia Red because it has um, an oil called Okatia in it. It's an actual essential oil that helps curb uh, cravings again, but it also balances blood sugar. And it has um, a bunch of other oils in there too that you know add flavor to your drink that's going to curb those cravings and level blood sugar. Um, they have a, a shake. It's like a strawberry flavor. So if you wanted a meal replacement and you wanted, you know, you don't like chocolate, you don't like vanilla, um, you can try their, their sleek shake as well. Um, there are slim caps. I've tried those as well, and I do like those. They have help to boost your metabolism. So if you just need something to jumpstart you um, into this uh, new journey, this is something that you can add. You can pick and choose, or you can do the whole line if you want to. Any um, any testimonies on that? Anyone that you you know you love something? I love the tea too. The tea is really good because it you can make it hot or you can make it cold. And I love it in the summertime because you can make a whole gallon. That tea bag lasts forever. Like it makes a large batch, and then you can make like an iced tea from it. And it's not like you're just drinking water. Yeah, and there is another testimony of another member losing 15 pounds in one month just by drinking Ningxia three times a day. Um, and someone else who said that they just started drinking Ningxia last week and now she looks forward to it every single day. Yeah, it's like a little splurge, you know, it's like, oh, it's my time to make my seltzer. And then my kids are like, can I have seltzer too? So I'm buying like quadruple the amount of seltzer because my kids like seltzer and Ningxia too now. <laughs> so, all good. Um, okay, and then lastly, another little uh, tool in your back pocket. This trio I know has worked for many, many people, but it's lemon, grapefruit, and peppermint vitality. And you can create capsules with like two drops of each, grapefruit, lemon, and peppermint. And then top it with, um, you know, a carrier oil. And you can take that daily as like a, it, it's really going to help with like busting fat in your body and metabolizing fat and curbing cravings. If you don't want to make the capsules, you can add a drop of each to your Ningxia and do that a couple times throughout the day. So every time you drink Ningxia, you can add the grapefruit, the lemon and peppermint. I know um, one person in particular that all she did for like a year was just add grapefruit to her water and her Ningxia every time she had it. And she lost, it was about 20 pounds that she lost. Just, you know, it wasn't anything crazy where you're gonna lose like 50 pounds in a month. It is sustainable weight loss by adding in these little tips, these little lifestyle changes, because it's sustainable. It's not going to be this bad diet. It's something that you can do, and it is a lifestyle. So get diet out of your language. It's a lifestyle that you're going to do every single day, okay? Um, and so I want to know if you have any questions, but I would love to help you along your journey and help you achieve your goals. I am a certified holistic health coach. I do have a few openings. Um, I would love to guide you and, um, and, and help you 
make this attainable? Because I know a lot of times we set out to do this on our own, but it's so much better when we have a partner right next to us cheering us on, right? So I have a survey that I'm going to put in um, when I click out of this, that um, if you complete this, you will receive a complimentary wellness call with me. It's a 15 minute wellness call that you can go through all your, um, you know, successes, your um, things that you want to celebrate, and then also the things that you want to achieve your goals with me. And then we can come up with a, a plan. So I'm going to put that in when I click out of here, but here's how you get in touch with me. My email address is Sarah at wellcoakrevival.com and then um, social media, I'm um, Welk Oak Revival on Instagram and Facebook, okay? So let me know your questions that you have so far. And I'm gonna put that survey up for right now. Okay, that is also a way for us to know what you wanna learn about in May. We already have our April schedule full next week. Sarah is going to be sharing a little bit about aroma freedom technique, which I think is going to pair really well with tonight's talk, because a lot of times we get in our own way, our emotions, our emotional blocks, um, trauma from the past can get in our way of the things we want to achieve for the future. And Sarah is going to talk about a, emotional um, re releasing and aroma freedom technique next week with oils. So. That's next week. And then the following week is all about Young Living's new website, the new language, and a look into that new website and helping you navigate it. But um, any questions that we talked about tonight? Looking through here. Oh, yeah, I love that you love the sleek tea. It helps you stay full. The sleep, the sleep essence, curb cravings. Okay. Thank you all for joining and taking time out of your Monday evening tonight. Have a beautiful rest of your week. Bye guys.